All right. According to Frank Warren, Tyson Fury's promoter, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua might fight on the same night, April 13th. E-King Fight News. And we got breaking news coming up. All right. So I don't know if Frank Warren's just sticking it to Eddie Hearn. But he's got this idea for the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury rematch to go down on the same night as Anthony Joshua versus TBA, so to speak. And a shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. He just put out this information. Anthony Joshua will be ringside for Dillian White versus Derek Chisora. I wonder why. Maybe he's got an interest in fighting the winner. Right? Uh, that was pretty obvious. But but let's get into what Frank Warren had to say. This is this is some real interesting news, and we got more on this. Alright, shout out to Boxing News 24. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch eyed for April 13th. Scott Guilfoyt penned this article. Tyson Fury's promoter is targeting April 13th for the rematch against WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder, which will put it on the same night as Joshua's fight in Wembley Stadium. What is this? And I mean, this, this to me just sounds like it sounds like Frank Warren trying to stick it to Eddie Hearn is what it sounds like. So hold on a second. We got more on. All right. So I believe this is the source material coming straight from Frank Warren on an IFL TV interview. Frank Warren raw on the Wilder Fury rematch. So this is what he had to say. I believe the only way that Joshua's next fight and the Wilder Fury rematch will conflict with each other in a major way is if both fights take place in the UK on April 13th. If Wilder Fury 2 is scheduled in the US, then it might not be as big a problem. Ideally, it would be better if both fights were staged on different dates. Hearn won't like it one bit because he's not going to need that date to have no conflicting fights in order to sell the tired retreat between Joshua and Dillian White. So, okay. Okay, I, I'm not sure exactly what Frank Warren said. Um, so, I'm going to have to listen to this IFL TV interview. Right? Uh, main point, though, is Frank Warren and Shelly Finkel are going to have to decide if they want to make that kind of a move. If they want to stage a U.S. pay-per-view on the same day slash night as the Anthony Joshua Dillian White fight. Most likely Dillian White. We don't know for sure. It's most likely going to be Dillian White uh, assuming he beats Derek Chisora which is a very winnable fight. I mean Derek Chisora did not look good against Carlos Takam uh, for a good five or six rounds until he scored a come from behind knockout. Right? It was a one shot KO out of nowhere and it was it was a revival a shot in the arm to uh, Derek Chisora's career and now he, he gets a great little payday here in a rematch with Dillian White um, you know what more is there to say I mean if Frank Warren wants to make this move I think it's I think it's risky business this is risky business because you're forcing the fans now to decide if they're going to choose the pay-per-view. Are, are they going to buy both? Are you forcing them to choose one over the other? You know? What, what's the real deal here? And I mean, I think the UK fans would, would probably buy both. Because that's how much they really support boxing. And, and, and credit to the UK fans. I mean, they're the whole reason... Why Anthony Joshua is as big as he is right now. They're the whole reason Eddie Hearn's out here bragging and shit. Because these UK fans are buying these fights. But it is what it is. It is what it is. What do you guys think about 
if Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury end up fighting on April 13th? What do you guys think? But moreover, like you have to understand, I, I just find it very strange. I, I would find it very strange, especially considering, you know, Eddie Hearn had this date reserved for such a long time, and it would it would be it would be pretty clear encroaching. It would be it would, that's encroaching. You're basically trying to take away some business off of Eddie Hearn, right? Why would they do that? Well, I can give you a very good reason why what Frank Warren's uh, motivation is behind this move, right? Because you know it is what it is, right? There's, there's always going to be some kind of um, uh, there's always going to be some kind of um, you know deception or this is some there's some ulterior motive here, and I think Frank Warren became very uh, his hatred for Eddie Hearn grew when Eddie Hearn I'll tell you what Eddie Hearn did. Because Eddie Hearn did something very recently that that may have sparked uh, it may have sparked something in Frank Warren. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Frank Warren had scheduled this fight, um, Josh Warrington versus his guy uh, Cole Frampton. Those two guys are gonna have a unification fight. Coincidentally, on the same night. As Dillian White versus your boy Derek Chisora, right? As far as I'm concerned, Frank Warren had that date first of December 22nd, and it was Eddie Hearn that decided to put that date on for Dillian White versus Derek Chisora at the O2. Now, I believe the the, the Frampton Warrington fight, I believe that's in Ireland. I don't think it's a UK fight, but what it does affect is the pay per view because that makes two pay per views on the same night. And, you know, if you're a UK fan, what are you going to buy? Are you going to buy Dillian White, Derek Chisora with Anthony Joshua ringside, or are you going to buy Carl Frampton versus uh, Josh Warrington? What would you buy? I, I'm not in the UK. I'm going to stream both of them. Else. So I, that's just the truth of the matter, right? I don't plan on fucking buying a Sky Sports box office. But I'm not in the UK. So you guys let me know what you think. Right? This is what I, I want to know what you think about Frank Warren potentially getting some uh, payback and putting Deontay Wilder versus... Uh, Tyson Fury on the AJ uh, fight date of April 13th. I, I I don't like the move. I personally don't like the move. But I, I kind of get that that's business. Like that's just part of a cutthroat game. That All these promoters are playing the same cutthroat game. Right? It's about uh, killing your competition. And, and being the number one guy, right? But the, the thing is, in my opinion, it hurts revenue on both sides, right? Because because you're forcing fans to choose or to buy both, right? If it's in the U.S., it shouldn't be that big of a deal because it's not on the same time slot. So it, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But I still don't really agree with it because you know what's going to happen? This is what's going to happen. It's only going to further uh, attach both these guys uh, together. Well, when you think of Anthony Joshua, everyone's going to know that, that, that Deontay Wilder is going to be fighting on, on, on the same night. Right? So it, it, it's kind of a weird move. But, but anyways, that, that, those are just my initial thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, Frank Warren. Wants AJ and Deontay Wilder to fight on the same night. I, I wonder what Shelly Finkel thinks. But for now, it's E-King Fight News. And we're out.